Today we are going to cover the SIMA4 versus task notification. So we are uh, going to discuss some benefits of using task notification. We are going to discuss some disadvantages. We are going to explain what to use, when to use, and how to use. Or, although we had covered the task notification in one of our previous series, but uh, so we uh, get a lot of questions from the student uh, how uh, to use the, how to differentiate from uh, task notifications from SEMA4 so we are going to cover that in today's video first of all what are they so a SEMA4 uh, from uh, task notification differentiation a SEMA4 and a notification are both mechanism that can be used to synchronize the task. So whenever you are creating a task and you need to pass the information or you need to share a resource, uh, you use them, you use them to implement a various kind of patterns. You need to wait, uh, let await uh, one task for that resource to be available or to uh, receive a notification, just like we do in our previous video of task notification in STM32 free RTOS series or a sig signal events uh, to in free RTOS. So how they are have some differences in, however, they have some differences in their implementation and usage. We are going to cover the differentiation uh, so that you know how they are different and what to use when to use so let's start with the semaphore we am i'll do cover the task notifications in our previous video but we had not covered the semaphores although we are going to cover the semaphore practical example in upcoming videos so don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment uh, used semaphore are used for shared resources so whenever you have some resource to share you use the semaphore for example you have some variable which multiple tasks are uh, required to update or re you use the semaphore for let them use when they have right to use so semaphore is an object that is created independently of any task and can be shared by multiple tasks. So semaphores are created independently. So you can use them with multiple tasks. And a semaphore has a count value that indicates how many tokens are available. Although you can um, use this uh, semaphore logic differently, uh, but this is something you can do. A task can only take a semaphore if it has a token and it can give back the token to the semaphore when it is done. So when you pass a token to a task, it can use a semaphore and when it is uh, done uh, doing what he wants to do with the semaphore, he can pass back the token. And a semaphore can be used to implement mutual exclusion. Uh, this is something which can be implemented with binary semaphores with a count of one or it can be used as a resource management by using the counting semaphore with count of n on the other hand notifications are specific to tasks so when you are using a notification it are uh, dedicatedly specific to the task which means that a notification is an attribute that is associated with each task and can only be accessed by the task or other tasks that know its handle so if a task know a handle it can use that notification so a notification has a state and a 32-bit value that can be used to store the information a task can wait for a notification from another task or an interrupt just like we did in our one of um, our previous video where we implemented a simple example of sending a notification to led task from this user button pass task and a task also can send notification to other tasks a notification can be used to implement various semaphore like pattern synchronization patterns just like the binary semaphore counting semaphore even flag or a mailbox some advantages of using a notifications or semaphores are so let's discuss them so you know when to use notifications 
notifications are faster and use less RAM. This is one of the biggest advantage of using a notification that it takes less RAM and are faster than the semaphores. As they do not require dynamic memory allocation, you don't need to allocate a dynamic memory just like the semaphores or a context switching. Notifications are simpler and more flexible than semaphores as they do not require creating and managing separate objects. So you need to, uh, not a separate memory in the notification. It can carry more information than the semaphores, although you can create an object of semaphore and implement a different kind of information or resource sharing, but it has its own way of sharing the information and semaphore has its own way. So they can use a 32-bit value in different ways, such as the direct value, a bit mask, or an increment. There are some disadvantages of using notifications as well. Uh, for example, notifications are less portable. So if you are using uh, them in a free authors and they are not part of the standard Kim, Kim Cesartos API. Notifications are less scalable. So when you want to in, scale them, uh, just like you can scale the semaphore, you can't do that with the notifications as they are limited by the number of tasks and the size of the notification array. So they are limited to them. And uh, one more thing you need to remember about the notification is that uh, they are less expensive than semaphore as they do not have the concept of ownership or priority inheritance. So that's all. We will cover more and more practical examples of semaphores and notifications and how they could be helpful in various uh, artos related problems in our SEM32 development in our upcoming series. So if you want to ask some specific topic or you want that to cover in upcoming videos, don't forget to leave a comment. Thank you.